Hey everyone and welcome back to Wolfenstein Youngblood. On this video we're doing the mission, Raid Mission Brother 3. And to get to Brother 3 we'll need to go through Victory Boulevard, but before we do that, I want to upgrade my diesel craft work. So let's start with the injector. We can get the napalm injector for lingering fire. Explosions leave a lingering puddle of burning napalm. The multi injector for multiple projectiles. Enables the diesel craft work to fire multiple projectiles at once. Hold R2 to cue projectiles in the chamber. Or the thermobaric injector for bigger explosions. Injects the projectiles with the settling, causing a bigger explosion. Let's go with that. For the fuel tank, I'm gonna go with damage. For the muzzle, you can get the uh, ricochet attachment for bouncy grenades. Coats the projectiles with rubber, causing them to bounce. The fragmentation attachment for shrapnel. Injects the projectiles with ball bearings, causing shrapnel to fly on each explosion. Or the cluster attachment for secondary bomblets. Injects the projectile with bomblets, causing each explosion to spread explosive cluster munitions. We're gonna go with that. Um, I don't know why I don't have the steer set bonus. Oh, I didn't actually click the button on this. Ah, there we go. Oh, I bought it, but then I turned it off. Okay, got it. And then for the grip, we're gonna go with uh, damage. All right, we should be all set with that. Let's head up to Abbey. We'll grab our daily quests, and then we'll head over to Victory Boulevard. Uh, fire Gauntlet. Uh, kill underground Diesel Soldaten. We got reports that Nazis have deployed Diesel Soldaten in the Paris Underground. If you're down there, take down seven of them so that it's safe for our people to run errands in the tunnels. Firestorm, blow up gas canisters. You know, girls, if you want to wreak some havoc on the Nazis, try to shoot the gas canisters that they, incredibly stupid as they are, have irresponsibly placed everywhere in the city. Blowing up nine of them should be enough. <coughs> and dog hunting, wreck Panzerhunden with Sturmgewehr. I want to test how efficient the Sturmgewehr is against the Panzerhunden. Go out and hunt down two of them for me, okay? That shouldn't be too bad. Alright. Heading over to Victory Boulevard. Okay, I have my two favorite weapons at the ready. Let me grab this free ammo. Ooh, two hand grenades. There it is. Long distance! Got him. Oh, I'm out. Uh, we can just do this. Hi. Give me my knife back. Alright, got one throwing weapon. Something. Haha! -ha. Got him. Oh, hi. Let's go time. Okay, let's see. What we got out here? Anybody? Nope. Alright, some enemies over here. Feel like causing some trouble. Oh, ow! Oh, jeez. I was not expecting someone from upstairs. Oh, I hear a grenade. Oh, that was Soph's grenade. Very nice. Oh, it's a Jaeger. I've got these craft work for you. Uh, I don't think it killed anyone. Oh, yeah, it did. Oh, I got both of them. Nazi's going oh, down. someone's coming downstairs. Oh, it's a Jaeger. Hi. You can see how much damage it does. <laughs> it's awesome. There's very few enemies it's actually good against, though, but the Jaegers are one. Back to the shotgun. Anybody? Anybody? No. Oh, what we got over there? It's a Jaeger! Oh, uh, dodge for a second, in boom! Oh, 
takes so many shots. I thought that was gonna be all of them, but no. Shotguns at the ready. See probably a guy up there. Oh, there he is. He's dead. Anybody else? What up there? Right, that's probably it. Are we in the clear? No. Huh. Who could possibly be left? Oh, I'm confused. Uh, if I had to guess, there's somebody up here. What's going on here? No? Okay, I have no clue. But I guess we'll just move on. There's an enemy somewhere, supposedly. But I could not tell you where they are. Oh, actually, they might be up here. That's what's going on? No? Yeah, I have no clue. But we're moving on. We don't need to find him. Alright, so we can jump through here. And some silver coins and experience. Uh, extra life if you need it. We got a cassette tape. La petite ceinture est un des premiers chemins de fer français construit il y a plus de 100 ans sous le règne de Louis Napoléon Bonaparte. À la même période, Georges Eugène Haussmann était désigné pour superviser les grandes rénovations de Paris, démolissant les quartiers moyenâgeux pour les remplacer par de larges avenues, parcs et bâtiments aux façades plus esthétiques, changeant ainsi le visage de la ville. Avec les progrès technologiques et la chute de l'économie, La petite ceinture fut progressivement abandonnée avant d'être envahie par les bidonvilles. Après que les nazis aient pris le contrôle de Paris et décidé de transformer le quartier en ghetto, regroupant les citoyens aux opinions et comportements dissidents, ils ont construit des bunkers massifs et barricadé certaines rues afin de contrôler et surveiller la population. Les longues avenues et façades harmonieuses, conçues par Haussmann pour aérer la ville, se trouvent ainsi brisées par des fortifications métalliques Alright, Resistance Log, Victory Boulevard, Resistance Fighter, Yohan Sake. Sake? I don't know. The Petite Ceinture Railway was built over a hundred years ago under Louis Napoleon Bonaparte, or Louis Napoleon Bonaparte, as one of the first French railways. At the same time, Georges Eugene Haussmann was chosen to oversee large scale renovations in Paris demolishing medieval neighborhoods in order to create wide avenues, parks, and attractive facades instead. The face of the city was changed. With technology evolving rapidly and the economy souring, the railway was slowly abandoned and shantytowns started to crop up on the old railway. After the Nazis took control of Paris and decided to transform the district into a ghetto, stowing away citizens because of their opinions or behavior, they built giant bunkers and street blockers in order to control the population and watch over the city. What Haussmann designed to be long avenues with nice regular facades is now broken up by metal bunkers and huge concrete slabs. Okay, and then over here we have a readable. The New Wet Height, article number 16. Political scandal plagues America. 5 October 1979. Berlin. It's election year in the former American territories, and once again it has been marred by scandals and subterfuge. Both presidential candidates have been caught buying votes, as well as bribing officials preparing the future voting stations. At present, it is unknown how many states have been affected by voter fraud. An analyst working at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs commented, Election fraud has been a problem plaguing America ever since the 
the Reich withdrew from the region in the 60s. Since very few citizens want their candidate to win, many of them most likely preferring to go back to how it was when we were in control, the only way for the voting system to retain an illusion of credibility is to create fictional voters. Voter fraud has simply become an inevitable part of American lifestyle. Okay, and then we can unlock the metro here. And I feel like there's another collectible down here I'm missing. Maybe it's this way? Hmm, I feel like I'm missing something down here, but maybe that's it. I thought there was another readable. Perhaps up here? Yeah, I have no idea. I am probably just misremembering, but the good news is if there is indeed a readable somewhere down here, I can easily get back to it because it's right at the metro station. But yeah, I thought, thought there was something. Hmm. Okay, well, no big deal. Like I said, we can return. What is that? Unless it was up here? See anything over here, like lying on a table or anything? No? Okay, well, whatever. Alright, we've got a big Zistad here. And we should be able to blow him right up with the laser craft work. As you can see, no pro- Ah, oh, I just wasted that. That's a bad idea, that's not working. Slide over here. Thank you. Soph just finished it, yep. Soph's got it. There's gonna be a lot more enemies coming, so be ready. Hey, level 33. Oh, that's a hammer, so hold on. It's gonna take a little while to take down. Go. Wow, who is hitting me? Are they up above me? Ah, there you are. Okay, oh, he's the Oh, Hey, weapon mastery level up. I have no idea what mastery level I'm at, but it must be high. Laser soul dot. Eat that. Got another one. He's done. He just doesn't know it yet. They just shot him. Yeah. Or I keep calling. Ugh. I mean, so I'm Jess. Okay, we got some more enemies over there. We'll take some ammo. Make sure they aren't coming down the side. Oh, another freaking drill. Actually, you know what we're gonna use on him? Oh, well, he's dead, so nothing. Another big guy. Oh, right. I got auto guards. I hate those things. Supposedly a grenade. I don't see it. Where's the big guy at? Oh, auto guards. I should be able to kill those auto guards from back where they can't shoot me. Let's take care of them now. Oh, hi, Jaeger. Ah, uh, invul. Oh. Oh, crap. Ah, the wrong weapon. Alright, Jaeger, where are you? Right there. Ha, I got her. 
seems to think that's everybody. Got that. And... Keep it up, that. Perfect. Alright, anybody left? I think we got them all. I think that's it. Well, it's still flashing red, though, so I don't trust it. There must be more. But where? Who is left? Maybe over here? Oh, I hear somebody. There we go. So you did survive. I thought Soap killed you. All right, we are in the clear. So we're gonna come over here. We can jump up to this pillar. There's a little secret area up here. And we got some 3D glasses. That is a medicine zolt soldat. Okay, uh let's see, let's go this way. If you look down here, there is 3D glasses again. That's a lionfish, no idea where you see those. And a floppy disk. Over here. Man. 3D glasses. 3D glasses. I've heard stories about these. That is a six soldat. Ammo is full now. You got a readable. Bastion's Diary. Monday, March 2nd, 1980. My boy is in trouble. Ever since his grandfather gave him lessons for his 14th birthday, he's been sketching away in that notebook of his. I tried to give him some privacy, letting him know that I trust him. When asked, he won't show us what he's drawn. Well, today I found out why. It's worse than I could ever imagine. He's been drawing caricatures of our dear leaders in Berlin. If he wasn't such a good artist, it wouldn't be a problem. But there can be no mistaking the identities of the portraits in his book. I am tormented by this. I know I have to make a difficult decision, for the sake of my family. What if he ruins his younger brothers with his treacherous behavior? Tomorrow, I will go down to the Gestapo headquarters and turn him in. I am a good citizen. I am a good father. It's just a shame he couldn't be a good son. Man, that's heartbreaking. Turns in his own son. To the Gestapo, no less. Maybe they'd take pity on a 14-year-old, but I kind of doubt it. Alright, supplies to Victory Boulevard. Johan, the Gestapo crate supply has been delivered to the radio station next to Victory Boulevard, as requested. I have assigned a code to the lock, 9189. Also, our men stationed outside Brother 3's gate have, has reported that a Gestapo crate is missing, probably stolen by the terrorists. If it turns up in your area, the code is 2161. Keep your eyes open, okay? Heil Hitler, Karl. So apparently there was a crate around here, but it was stolen. The New Way Wet Height, Article Number 15. Man of Steel protects city. 4 April 1980, New Paris. It's been five years since the robot mortar was deployed to patrol the streets of New Paris. This unique Uber assassin was commissioned by former, former General Lothar Brandt in 1975 following a plague of terrorist attacks that claimed the lives of dozens of innocent citizens. Introduced as the future of law enforcement, the robot murder. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm going to say robot murder because that sounds cooler. The robot murder was specifically developed to track down and terminate terrorists hiding in the city and has so far had a 100% success rate. False rumors have recently been circulating that the robot murder is targeting ordinary civilians, but these claims have been thoroughly dismissed by the authorities. The terrorists have been spreading vile propaganda about the robot murder. 
saying that it's a danger to the citizens of New Paris. But everyone can rest easy. German engineering is the best in the world, and we would never have created something that could be of harm to the people of the Reich. And here we have a cassette tape. All right, another song discovered, and that was the last cassette tape here in Victory Boulevard. All right, what else do we got? Armor's full. Got a bunch of silver coins and such. I don't think there's much up here. Didn't kill that guy, but that's probably about it. Oh, there's some silver coins over here. Okay, now... We look in the trash right here. We have I can pick it up a UVK cup. Monumental weightlifting. Learn all about how to build big Aryan muscles from the world champion bodybuilder Mr. Muscle. This training video takes you through the basics up to advanced weightlifting. As a bonus, you will learn about the new training trend: craft gymnastic. Don't hold back. Strengthen your body for the fatherland today. that up and let's see uh, that leads up where I don't care I will take this silver box though 
Let's go in here. To a readable. Maintenance, uh, maintenance note. We're investigating the matter of the foul smell. Our technicians are 100% 100% sure that the bad odor is not related to the piping, and it doesn't seem to come from the sewer system. Our professional recommendation is to stop work in the area and check in with the Gestapo Sanitation Division as soon as possible. They're sadly infamous for losing track of terrorist grave sites, and you don't want to dig up a mass grave willy-nilly. It's a mess, trust me. Maintenance staff. Okay, uh, let's go into here. Oops, forgot about the uh, secondary explosions. Gotta be careful with that. And up there, we got some 3D glasses. That's a hammer soul dot. We've dealt with them a lot. And we're good on 3D glasses now. So good on UVK covers, 3D glasses done, cassette tapes done. We just need one more floppy and one more readable. I'm still feeling like there was a readable back in that one area that I missed, but we'll see. Um, anyways, for now, I'm gonna go up here and jump up. Silver coins, and go in here. I'm pretty sure there was a thing in here. Yeah, there we go. Just floppy sound like really floppy. So yeah, we're missing a readable, and I still feel confident that it's in that one area, but whatever. Well. Worry about that later. Let's toss this in the floppy. Surveillance report. Henri, I've been spying on the Nazis' new radio building for a week now. Apparently, they recently got a delivery of a Gestapo crate, and they have locked it inside a room. I think we should try to sneak in and see if we can get the gate open. But it's got a super secure electronic lock on it. We'll have to get some heavier firepower if we want to get it open. Let's discuss next time we meet. Viva la resistance, Jocelyn. Oh, actually, you know what? I know where that final readable is, so I'm crazy. There wasn't a readable back there. It's actually over here. Which means we should just have the uh, red boxes remaining. Let's see. I know there's a readable in here somewhere. There it is. Moritz's note. Don't freak out, but there's a dead dog in the trun of trunk of your car. Huh? It looked like one of those schnauzers. Maybe someone's pet, because it had a stupid heart-shaped name tag with the name Fraulein Eliza on it. I accidentally ran it over on the way to work and just need somewhere to stash it until my patrol shift is done. I'll get rid of it as soon as I can. It's actually pretty funny looking, if you want to show people at work. Someone dressed it up, a or someone dressed it up in a frilly vest. Can you imagine dressing up a dog? French people are weird. Commandant Moritz. So that's where that dog went. I don't think he's gonna be too happy when he finds out. All right, so yeah, if we look at the collectibles, just the concepts remain zero out of two. So we're slack. I think, yeah, I actually know where both of those are. So whenever I go in those areas, I'll pick them up. Alrighty, so brother gate is accessible. Let's get in there. Thank you. Coins and let's open it up. You are entering Brother 3, the research and development center of the Nazis in Paris. General Lothar Brandt erected this tower nine years ago. It was destroyed just a week ago with the help of a cyber pilot, a hacked Nazi robot that can manipulate other robots. Maria is repairing it right now, and maybe it will be of use to us again one day. Girls. Brother 3 is in pretty bad shape, but I can see the main computer popping in and out of the Paris power grid. My guess? They're keeping it somewhere in the basement. Head through the rubble and find a way into the broken tower interior. Thanks, Damn. Abby. Let's see if we can get some stealth kills. Ich 
Chopper up there. Yeah, that tower's in bad shape. Alright, let's see if we can take out both these guys quick. Crap. Well, so much for that. How much you want to bet something spawned behind me? Loves to do that. Oh, that's a drone. Drone down. That's a drone machine. I would love to take that down. But if I ran in there, it'd be bad news for me. Oh, he just teleported. Could try to take it down really quick. Eight, seven, two, one. Perfect. No more drones. Hey, big guy. I knew they'd spawn people behind me. I knew it. You know, I might have missed a collectible over here. Maybe not. Nah, we're good. Anybody down below? We do have this guy, though. Backtrack a little bit. Area is clear. All patched up and ready to roll, sis. We have a readable. Uh oh. Didn't take me to it. That's not very nice. Where is this readable? De Nue Wed Height to Article number 20. Lothar to receive the Führer Peace Prize. 12 October 1978, Stockholm. General Lothar Brandt, one of the Reich's finest, will be the recipient of the 1978 Führer Peace Prize. The prize motivation reads, from, this, or from his continued effort in unifying the people of New Paris under the peaceful banner of the Fatherland, to his, to his unyielding stance on protecting those in need from terrorists, there are few men that have ever done more for peace than General Brandt, except the dear Führer himself. The prize ceremony will be held on the 10th of December in Stockholm and is followed by a banquet at the City Hall. Should be a coin box over here. And there is. I'll take that. I right, wanna check the shop windows because right here. Oops, take that back. We have a UVK cover. Das Lutschiff. Get ready to experience the classic movie Das Lutschiff. With remastered colors and an additional 45 minutes of footage that was cut from the original theatrical version in this all new director's cut. This is the version that Hieronymus Hoch originally wanted the audience to see. Hear interesting in depth commentary about the production and view unique, never seen before behind the scenes footage. Das Lutschiff is an amazing story about the hardships of honorable German warriors fighting for the fatherland against the terrorists of the world. Beautiful, haunting, vivid. A masterpiece you don't want to miss. Okay, there is a collectible down below, but I don't know if it's down here or further up. Oh, and what's this? Oh, I wonder if this is the uh, sewer entrance. 
Oh, it must be, yeah. I actually didn't know this was down here. I never took the sewer entrance before. Oh, but you gotta actually go through to get to it. Well, that makes sense. Oh, and I forgot to unlock the metro here. I need to go do that. All right, so that's how you get inside. Not a big shortcut, but it does bypass the brother gate, which is a little nasty, I guess. That's a rush. I'll be there soon. Right, Where's the metro over here? Yeah, it's down here. All right, metro is unlocked. of a box and that. Alright, there's probably gonna be some enemies coming up. Would be my guess. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got company. I if this'll work. He's down there, I'm just shooting, I don't see anything. Ah, screw this, this isn't working. What we got? Is that it? Mm. Oh. Apparently not. Badass and inspirational, Jess. Okay. Some guys over here, apparently. Uh. Ow! Behind me. Oh, what a throw. I thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye, but I thought for sure he could. Oh, are you serious? Are you serious? You're just going to watch me die. Oh, okay. Got me up finally. So, uh, it is not unusual for them to just watch you die. Or for your sister to watch you die. It happens a lot, and it's so irritating. I know. Whoa, okay. Why are you all behind me? That makes no sense. I cleared this out. Ow. You're killing it, man. Thanks, sis. Uh, I guess she took care of him. We got. I'm ready to destroy. I see no one. Thank you, Soph. Well, I need to blow those up for a challenge, so there we go. Oh, they're down there. Hi, guys. Are those snipers in a trench? That doesn't really work. Yep, those are snipers in a trench. You seem oblivious to the fact that I've been shooting them. But hey, whatever. Okay, and we are clear. Alright, well, we'll blow this up too. Like I said, we need a four challenge. Alright, if we go in here, we get silver coins, and I gotta find those 3D glasses. They were down here in the trench somewhere. I don't remember exactly where. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not precisely sure. Oh, opens from the other side. Okay. That seems kind of pointless. Yeah. What's what's the point of that? Why would I want to open that up? If I'm already on this side, I don't want to go back that way. Alright, where were those glasses again? Hmm. Maybe they were further back. Okay, well, anyways, they're clearly further back um, while I'm over here. See if there's any goodies. 
ammunition's full. Okay. Yeah, backtrack a little bit. Where are the glasses? Maybe they're over here. This looks familiar. Or not. Huh, I think we're in this first area, but I don't think they were this far back. Did find a silver boss though, so that's good. Yeah, I don't... Hmm, I wonder if I did something special in that game to make them appear. There are certain collectibles like that, or I'm just being oblivious and not finding them. I don't know what the case may be, but... I do not see them. At all. Unless they run the other side and I'm being dumb and misremembering. Okay, well, I'm not quite sure, but it's not a huge deal. We will be back, just like getting stuff the first time around. But yeah, I am not seeing it anywhere. Yeah, no clue. All right, we're uh. We're gonna head up, check the top street, see if there's anything there, and then uh, we'll continue forward. Should be able to jump up here, I think. Yeah, no problem. All right, so yeah, we didn't really check up here that well. Still need some armor. Anything else I can grab? Silver box, might get some armor here. We did. And, uh, yeah, let's move on. Let me turn off this drone thing. Eight, seven, two, one. Another silver box. More ammunition that I don't need. Moving on. He's not looking at me. Perfect. Stabby, stabby. Oh, crap. Oh, oh, we're still in the clear. Catch. Ah, crap. The last guy, of course. Well, we actually might be good. Nope, no, we're not. Ow up there. What the heck? I can't get up there. Oh, bad move by him. <laughs> Just like jumping down to their doom. Alright. That was easy. Silver coins. I'll take it. Over here, readable. De Nue Wet Height to Article Number 21, The Inside Scoop, Lothar's Fall from Grace. 15 April 1980, New Paris. 
What had once been a success story about a man rising up to become a star general of the Reich turned overnight into a story of a criminal who could do anything for his own personal gain. The disgraced general, who was stripped of his Führer Peace Prize last month, is still at large and is considered armed and dangerous. This article will examine the life of the once celebrated general and how he could have fallen so low. Eyewitnesses from the night raid on the general's penthouse apartment with his beautiful skyline view of New Paris said they found evidence of the general's ostentatious living following the raid. A life-size gold-plated statue of Air and Frau Brandt dancing with an inscription that reads, Happy 20th Anniversary. Here's to many more dances to come. Love, Jay. A diamond-studded knife with a personal etched dedication signed by the Führer dated 1953 and many more valuable items. Was the general stealing from the public for his own greedy interests? On the surface, Lothar seemed to be a man of great honor, said General Winkler during an interview, who could have known that he was just a narcissistic con man who wanted to profit on the backs of the good people of the Reich. I can't understand how he turned out to be such an awful human being. Moving up. Alright, let's see, let's nail this guy. Weapon mastery level up. I wonder if I can stealth this drone. Let's see, maybe like right there? Let's try it. Nope. Oh. What that? Nope. <laughs> Alright, shoot it. We're good at that. Let's do this. Catch, 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 catch. <laughs> well, if nothing else, it should have killed his body. Actually, no, why am I using that? Is he missing his arm? Wait, I, I seriously didn't kill that guy in the back? You're oh, whatever, he's dead now. You can do this, dude. Uh oh. You got it. I heard a grenade, yep. <laughs> you have too much health. Alright, he's dead. Burn it through ammo, though. I don't like it. Alright, let's also shoot him. Yeah, I'm gonna move up. I don't take that. Let's see, there should be a side path, yeah. Let's move this up. That. Oh, Commandant. Is that it? I expected more. But that might be it. Oh, no, we got a drone or two. Oh, God. That wasn't too bad. Alright, let's start back down here. Should be a readable around here. There it is. And we've leveled up. Level 34. De Nue Wed Height, Article Number 22. The Fjord lives on in space. 15 April 1980, New Paris. 
Researchers at the Berlin Institute of Science are theorizing that the televised broadcast of the 1936 Summer Olympics opening ceremony is the first true interstellar message humanity has sent to the stars. The Führer's powerful words, which have been traveling through space for 44 years, are likely the first message from humanity that any potential extraterrestrial life will hear. What a great honor for them. Even though some aspects of the space program have been put on hold, the immortal words of a or of our dearly beloved Führer, are still traveling deeper into the universe. In much the same way that he introduced the world to the new era of German prosperity, he will also be our future ambassador to the stars. Alright, and then there's another collectible around here which is very well hidden. I'm trying to remember where it was. I think it's up there. It's in a ridiculous spot. Let's see, is it up here? Yeah, it's over here. UVK cover. Decrab. Scientist Gunther Denzel, a man with a shady past, dreams of creating a portal that allows him to fast travel between distant places. But every time he exits the portal, his body starts to change into a horrible crab. Can he reverse these strange side effects, or is he forever doomed to a life with claws? With music composed by Selma Klasne, and directed by the upcoming talent Turbin Pepst, this movie is sure to scare your pants off. What? A crab, huh? I'm not scared. I'm gonna have to try harder than that. Alright, there is... I think it's up here. There's a... Uh, one of those red crates, but we don't have the code. I'll take that. And that, if it would let me grab it. Gone. Half the tower's gone, man. Silver coins. More silver coins, and if you need a life, you can get one there. Actually, I feel like I might have missed something. No. here that all intact areas of the tower have been locked down and quarantined so you'll need to find a way to bypass that hello <clears throat> that alert them no, we're still good. Take that. Who do we have down here? Ooh, he's a super soldier, but I can stealth kill him. I've never done this before. Is he in the right position? Let's find out. Hey, you two. I dug up some info on the research in Brother 3. This is how we do it in Texas! Oh, well, we interrupted Abby. Oh, well, I had no choice. Super soldiers down there. I'm quite happy about that. Another guy over there. Which way is this guy facing? Oh, is he another super soldier? Ha ha! Ah, oh, crap. Whoever that is is gonna see me! Dang it! Oh well, we got rid of the super soldier, so this should be much easier. Save some serious ammo. Somebody over there, somebody here. Oh, 
<laughs> this guess is so squishy. I love it. Oh, go on, Invul. Oh, that's not what I wanted, but I guess it'll work. I need kills with it anyway, so. And that it? Yeah, much easier taking out this super soldier. So I'm pretty happy with the decision I made. Alright, starting back from the beginning. Anything in here? Yep, silver box. Set tape. Another song discovered. Let's see what else we've got in this lab area. Some health, that's good. Back up to max health. Get some armor as well, should get all the way back up to full. up to full armor Let's see nothing back here for us let's go upstairs we have a box and over here it's a UVK cover problem some problems are small some problems are big some problems are deadly a depressed maintenance worker with a shady genetic history living in New Paris is sent to fix a faulty maintenance robot in Little Berlin, but decides to give it a fatal will of its own as revenge against everyone who annoys him. Now the city sure has a problem on its hands. The latest hit techno-horror picture comes from the genius mind of Kurt Tanzer, director of modern classics such as Dirty Degenerates and American Chaos. Dirty Degenerates. 
Alright, oh, I should blow those up for my challenge. And what's down below? Aha, another one of these. Alright, if I recall, there's actually not that much in this area. Look over here, we got some 3D glasses. That is an Academica. That might actually be the only collectible in this area. Let's take a, do a quick sweep, but I think that might be it. Oh, actually, there might be one, hmm. I'm actually thinking there might be another one, but I don't remember where. He's back here. No? Well, anyways, you can get into these, like, side room things with various forms of torture device. Let's see, these rooms, I think you might need a special weapon to get in. Once again, if I miss any collectibles, I'm just not worried about it because you have to come back to these areas, so... If I miss anything, it's like, whatever, I'll be back. And I do feel like I'm missing something here, but I felt like that before and been completely wrong, so... I might have gotten everything, but anyways, let's go in there. Remember, it has the bomblets. They still hit me. I need to back up even more. But you can see how effective they are because they spread out super far. Let me, uh, let me check over here. If I were a collectible, this is where I would be. Yeah, I don't see anything. Alright, anyways, we need to get into that room. So let's do so by jumping up here, crouching down. The Electro Craftwork. Press R2 to fire electricity arcs. The Electro Craftwork fires multiple arcs of electricity that automatically target nearby enemies. The Electro Craftwork can also be used to open doors and crates with super secure electronic locks. So, this here Nazi frying machine looks perfect. Another Craftwork weapon. And another silver box. Okay, let's open this up and then be prepared for enemies. Now, I don't actually like using that gun against enemies, so you're not going to see me doing that. Where are the enemies? There should be enemies. Yep, okay. we go in the back. You guys made a mistake! Medicine soldat. Let me go over here. Let me do this. Catch, catch. <laughs> Not sure if I got the one I was going for. Oh, God. Uh, back off. Oh, that's not what I want. I don't want the shotgun. Oh, that's all? I was expecting more. I think I got a punch of them with that explosion, though. They were all clumped up nice and tight. Bet you they regret that. Whoa. This place is eerie, so... Like, really, really eerie. Yeah, just don't expect me to feel sorry for the Nazi throat tear. Alright, we need Electro Craftwork. Open this up.
Cassette tape. Et je déteste me réveiller seul Les souvenirs de toi me gardent chaud Me réchauffent Les gens sont si différents Que je me sens seul Mais je ferme les yeux Tu es à mes côtés Je suis loin de chez moi, mais je t'aime. Je suis loin de chez moi, quand te reverrai-je. Je suis loin de chez moi, mais je t'aime. Je suis loin de chez moi, quand te reverrai-je. Et les nuits sont sombres Mais quand je ferme les yeux Je te vois sourire Les gens peuvent essayer De nous séparer Mais je ferme les yeux Et tu tends toujours la main Je suis loin de chez moi, mais je t'aime. Je suis loin de chez moi, quand te reverrai-je. Je suis loin de chez moi, mais je t'aime. Je suis loin de chez moi, quand te reverrai-je. Another song discovered. <coughs> Floppy terminal. I don't think I picked up any discs. No, no discs. Uh, let's see. There should be another collectible in this area. I'm trying to remember where. Probably along this wall. Oh, never mind. It was in here. Yep. Yeah. 3D glasses. Comfond statue. Alright, uh, pretty sure this just goes down to the previous area. This is now opened up. Let me, uh, exploderate that for my challenge. And silver coins. Oh, and there's another one. I don't know if those ones count. Blown up anyway. It's a bullet. I'll live. Okay, I think we need to go down. Elevator to the main computer should be in the back. Hey, it's stealthin' time. Get some armor, very nice. There we go. Oh, those are Roboto Soldat and Bat. Ah, crap. Well, no stealth for me. Let me, uh, fall back to this defensible position. Oh. 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 
really need it, I don't think. I will switch to laser craft work. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Can't be it. That's it. Okay, well that was easy. Sometimes they throw like ridiculous encounters at you and other times they make it easy. Very inconsistent. Right, I would like to get a little more ammo for the storm Oh, and I haven't checked. What is my mastery level with it? Uh, weapon level 6. Okay. It goes all the way up to 10. So we still got a ways to go with it. Alright. Uh, almost forgot. Up here, there's a red crate. But we can't open those yet. Should be a collectible around here. There it is. Erhardt's note. Uba Commandant Wolf. With all due respect, I still suspect that we have people within our organization that support General Lothar's plan to overthrow the Berlin regime. If we don't nip this problem in the bud, it will come back to bite us in the ass. You mark my words. General Lothar is still out there. He is planning something. I am sure of it. And he has sleeper cells waiting for his word to strike. We have to do an organized inventory and interrogation of the entire workforce. Now. Heil Hitler, Commandant Erhardt. Alright, that is four of six readables. Take that. Got some 3D glasses. That would be Roboter Soldat. Three of seven 3D glasses. Let me turn off both of these drone hatch thingies. Eight, seven, two, one. Eight, seven, two, one. All right, now this, it's hard to see it up there. Some 3D glasses in that statue's hand. It's uh, a little difficult to get to. Uh, not super difficult, but gotta work for it. And I can't quite get it in my sights. There we go. Glasses. Bad ass man. That is Glafsoldat. Alright, uh, I'm just looking up here for ammo and such. Don't believe there's any collectibles we have. Waiting code request, huh? I don't remember a code around here. Interesting. Well, there might be something I don't know about, but as always, we will be back. Alright, cassette tape. Forskning och utveckling för ett starkare folk. Så sa Paris dåvarande borgmästare när brodet tre stod klart och skuggan från dess massiva ton hade sänkts över Paris innerstad. Sanningen var att den forskning som bedrevs i Brod 3 var ämnat för deras folk. Dagarna efter att detta monster färdigställs började våra nära och kära försvinna. I början var nazisterna diskreta. Folk kidnappades ur sina sängar eller eskorterades från sina jobb. Sen kom hemliga polisen. Men i bruna uniformer drog iväg folk mitt på ljusa dagen. Man kunde höra skriken. Gråten ekandes i de kloakerna under brodet tre. Ingen vet exakt vad som hände med våra kamrater. Vad vi vet är att de aldrig återvände. Rykten sa att regimen hade lyckats använda oskans krafter för att skapa nya vapen. Vi hörde viskningar om att man på vissa platser nära tornet kunde känna doften av bränt kött. Vi trodde alla att vi skulle bli av med denna vålnad som jäckade vår vackra stad- Tills några av våra kämpar fick tag på så kallt superpilot. Med dess hjälp lyckades vi bryta oss in och ta kontroll över dessa robotar och därigenom spränga tornet från insidan. Vi såg miljoner bitar av betong och stål från det förbannade tornet sprida sig över de närliggande kvarteren. 
Vi såg dess fundament rasa ner och dra med sig alla deras fruktansvärda experiment i de rykande spillorna. Broder 3 hade fallit. Vi kommer inte låta våra kamraters död vara förgäves. Tid för hämnd är nu. Vår stad kommer befrias och vi ska se till att det nazisterna har gjort mot oss inte kommer göras mot någon annan. Vi var alla resistans. Oh, whoops. I could not keep up with that because I couldn't catch enough words that he was saying. But anyways, in English. Resistance Log Brother 3. Resistance Fighter Christopher Kind. Science in progress for a stronger people. That's what the mayor of Paris at the time said when Brother 3 was finished and the shadow of its massive tower had fallen over the inner city of Paris. The truth is that the research conducted in Brother 3 was meant for their people only. Days after the monster had been constructed, our people started to disappear. The Nazis were discreet in the beginning. People were kidnapped from their beds or escorted from their places of work. Then the secret police came. Men in brown uniforms dragged people away in broad daylight. No one knew exactly what happened to our comrades. What we do know is that they never returned. Rumors had it that the regime had managed to use the power of lightning to create new weapons. We heard whispers saying that in some places near the tower you could smell burnt flesh. We didn't think we could get rid of this specter haunting our beautiful city. Until some of our fighters got hold of a so-called cyber pilot. With its help we managed to break in and take control over the robots and finally blow up the tower from the inside. We saw millions of pieces of concrete and steel from the cursed tower spread over the nearby city blocks. We saw its fundaments collapse and drag with it the Nazis horrible experiments into the smoldering ruins. Brother 3 had fallen. We won't let our comrades' deaths be in vain. The time for revenge is now. Our city will be freed and we'll see to it that the Nazis or we'll see to it that what the Nazis did to us will never be done to someone else. Viva la resistance. All right. So Cleared all this out. We don't need that health. Do want that stuff. Let's go this way. Silver coins. Don't think there's anything in here for me. No. Looks good. Doors locked. Shit. Oh, that's where the code request is. I think that's the same one. Way on the other side. That's strange if it's that far apart. We got the doors open, sis. We're closing in. Awesome, girls. You did it. with wine and cigarettes once this is over I promise you okay sisters you're about to enter the research archives the main computer currently appears to be offline so you need to power it up before I can hack into it and look out for the turret defense system Not seem to hit these guys. There we go. Right, he's dead. Working on that auto guard. If I can get an angle. There we go. Where is it? There? No? Oh, already dead. Okay. Easy enough. Extra lives there if you need it. Getting a little low on Sturm Gewehr ammo, but for this fight, it's not there, gonna right? matter. A little dark in here, but that's okay. That's why we have a flashlight. Oh, ammo full, huh? Okay. Let's see, I thought there was something in here for me. Not seeing anything. I know there's at least one collectible. Must be in the other room. Yep, okay. Thought there was more. Apparently not. Take that. We got 3D glasses. 
Term de drone. Howdy. You should totally stock up here, Jess. Uh, health. I will take one of those. There we go. And yeah, that might be it. Appears to be it. Alright, so for this, I'm gonna go with the diesel craft work. And I guess. The shotgun. Uh, how are we looking? Armor's a little lower than I would like, but I don't didn't see any lying around. Let's do this. Access server hall. Okay, power's back up. Focus on the tower commanders. Take them down and steal their keys. You can then do this, Jess. Open the main computer for me. Roger. Watch out, Jess. Big guy incoming. Oh, jeez. Alright, uh, you know what? I'm gonna run the outside and kill the commanders. Take down the commander, Jess. Okay, so he's down. Well, maybe I... Maybe we're fine just to kill the guy on this side. Oh, there we go. Taking advantage of the inbound. And activating those explosions. Am I going bolt? Oh, I'm stuck! Oh god! I can't move! That search door needs to be destroyed! Somebody's coming. Who is it? Ah! Come on, may as well pick that up. Just one more! I feel like my laser craft work's not doing as much as it normally does. Probably just missing. Alright, well, let's pull him up. <laughs> oh, hey, well that kinda worked. Go on, Invol. Alright, doing some damage. Sending the Nazi commander on a train Oh, we got a Panzerhunden. Explosions! How are we looking on him? Ah, uh, he's getting low. Throw that out. Oh crap! Oh god! Oh what? How did that work? Alright, let me back up. I don't feel safe. Oh god! Invul! Doing this. Woo, good invul. Alright. Give me armor. Alright, he's almost dead. He dead. Alright, how are we looking on the big guy? Is he dead? Where's the big guy? You're a badass. There he is. Okay, so. That. Actually, you know what? This craft work should be pretty good against him. Oh yeah, he's almost done. Let me invuln and. Oh my God! Why didn't you die to that? Dead! Ugh, so much ammo. Boom. Alright. Not the smoothest, but it uh, worked pretty well. I was not aiming well with my diesel craft work, which would have made that so much better. But, oh well. Okay, so this is cleared. Uh, well, let's run this bottom tunnel and see what we can get. get my health and armor back up if I can. Right there. There we go. Oh, 
<laughs> we got the keys, Abster. Great. Now go and open the main computer. Okay, what do we got up here? We have... This reminds me of the mistake you made me back home, so... Golden Oldies, the Old Blood, number two. The cultists were chanting something about resurrecting an old god from the depths of the mine. They brought forth a naked man, seemingly drugged. Oh, trophy earned, brother three. Nice. Because he made no effort to resist what was happening to him, to him and slayed him with a ritual knife. Wait, what? Um, let me restart that. They brought forth a naked man, seemingly drugged, because he made no effort to resist what was happening to him and slayed him with a ritual knife. Okay, never mind, that makes sense. In the end, no god appeared, as far as I could see. Maybe the mass hysteria caused the cultists to have visions from some other dimension that I could not see. After that, only a generous amount of very strong spirits could soothe my mind. But the nightmares never went away. Mick Gordon, Australian Anthropologist. And a UVK cover. Defrosh. A sect of evil terrorists experimenting on frogs in the sewers underneath New Paris unleashes a horde of deadly mutated amphibians devouring everything in their way. Will the noble Gestapo officer Kurt Schwimmer be able to save his family and escape a city seized by a horde of murder frogs? Starring Matthias Fishes as Kurt Schwimmer and Nadine Gerhardt as the beautiful wife Frank. De Froche is not a movie for the faint-hearted. De Froche. I love the cover. That's awesome. I guess you found some nice stuff over here. Alright, so we did get all of the UVK covers. Hey, look, and this. we've got a floppy disk. Now we just need a computer. Take that. And that. And that. Remember when we found the old ruined school back in Mesquite? The one that was blown up by the Nazis. Becky Ellington once told me it was haunted by the ghosts of the children who died there. Okay, nothing else on this side. I know the other side's got some collectibles for us, though. Not sure if the bottom has anything, though. Let's take a quick look. Oh, actually, it does under the stairs got that red crate. We might actually have the code for that crate now, but we need we need a floppy terminal, and I don't know if there is one. So if we can't get it now, that's fine. We'll get it another time. And that might be the case. Let's go up top, though. Is that tape?
Angetriebener von meiner Not, den Rest meiner Tage bleib ich dort, dort bei dem Haus Alben droht. Ja, oh, I was way behind. Alright, anyways, new song, yay! Weird remix of House of the Rising Sun. And let's see, what else do we have? Health, don't need that stuff. Take those, and we got some 3D glasses. You can restock right here, Jeff. That's a laser hund. Oh, and I just realized that Panzer Hund, if things weren't so crazy, I could have killed it with the Sturm Gewehr and been halfway through my daily quest, but whatever. I would rather live. Okay, I think that is everything. So let's go ahead and take over the computer. Oh, I, well, I'll do this and then I'll check if there's a floppy terminal. There might be one in, in, uh, in that room. I think there is, actually. We open the main computer, Abby. I'm in! Yes! Brother 3's main computer is now ours. Great job, girls. Now get your asses out of there. We're getting out. Mission complete, Brother 3. Oh, apparently we were supposed to stay there to hear that, but that's why we have subtitles. All right, so our new action is to unlock the shortcut. Before we do that, I want to use the floppy terminal if there is one, and there is. Salvage the Brother 3 Gestapo groups. Men, following the devastating terrorist attack on Brother 3, we have some major work ahead of us. It's urgent that we salvage whatever is left in the Gestapo crates inside the tower. Organize a squad to locate and bring back whatever you can. There's one in the laboratory, code Z, yeah, I can't speak, code 9012, should be another above the main door to the lobby using the code 6743. One is most likely in the main computer room. Code should be 2354. Finally, there's a fourth one gone missing, but hopefully it's still somewhere inside the building. The code to the last one is 3201. I trust you'll... I trust you'll your absolute best. That's a strange sentence. Good luck! Heil Hitler, Commandant Gernot. Okay, so we can now head back to that red crate. Pick up the goodies. Two, three, five. Four. Got some concept art. Various ads. Uh, graphic design. Brute force is not the only way the Nazis control Paris. One of the more subtle ta tactics utilized by the regime is propaganda, and it's been proven quite effective in keeping the civilian population in check. Propaganda, it still works. Alright, let us unlock the shortcut. Man, I am getting very low in ammunition, so let's uh, hold off on using that particular gun. I'll try to use the shotgun more. What on earth is that? Heads up girls. Nazis are sending in search parties. Be careful. Bring them on. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we can do. And there's ammo. That's what I like to see. Any more? More ammo? Nope. Yes. Sweet. Oh, dang it. Not already. Oh, God. What the heck? Good 
Come on, Envon. Hey, that and that. I don't think they like that very much. And you can do that. Your laser not as strong as my whatever. My laser. You got it. Take that. Oh, there's a lot of dudes. Go on, Invuln. Oh, can't yet. Go on, Invuln. Oh, hi. Hey, level up. Improved upgrades unlocked for signature weapons. Oh. I'm rushing. Oh, we got some drones, I think. Did I see a drone? No, just a guy. Oh, it's Commander. Hey, Commander. You're dead. All right, how's Storm Glory doing? 127 bullets, a little bit better. Let's try to continue to avoid using it for a little bit, though. All right, I should be able to get a bunch of ammo in this side room, though. All oh, right, and I gotta remember to open up that uh, crate, the Gestapo crate. Oh, actually. They I was expecting a bunch of ammo, but there's not much here. Oh well. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I saw something. No? Aha! There we go. Okay, so the crate's up there. Six, seven, four, three. Various tools, I guess? All kinds of stuff. Maybe uh, environment pieces, just in general. Uh, props, part two. If there is one area where the Nazis excel above all else, it's in inventing new and creative ways to kill and maim everyone that they deem inferior. Yes, they're such nice people. I completed that action, so we just got a bunch of coins. Probably some enemies out here, but... Okay, sisters, here's another piece of the Lothar transmission. Check it out. Der Aufstieg ist der erste Schritt, General Messer. Und ich werde uns vor den Gefahren des nahenden Sturms schützen. Uns und alle, die mir treu ergeben geblieben sind. Und ich werde ein neues Reich errichten, das selbst die Vorstellungen des Führers übersteigen wird. Ein viertes Reich. Ja, General Messer, ich weiß, dass Berlin mich irgendwann loswerden wollen wird. Aber ich habe einen Plan. I'll see if I can decrypt the rest. All right, well, I thought there would be enemies, but none here. So, our action for the shortcut is completed. And let's see, how many... Skill points. I got three skill points. Uh, once I get two, I'm thinking my next ability will be the sisterly love. Reducing the cooldown of the pep signal by 50% is huge. And it's going to come in handy. So that's what I'm targeting next. And I do have a lot of coins. Nothing I really want at the moment that I can think of. But I might change my mind by the time I start my next video. All right. So we're going to wrap things up right here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.